The Hiller YH-32 Hornet was an American ultralight helicopter built by Hiller Aircraft in the early 1950s. It was a small and unique design because it was powered by two Hiller 8RJ-2B ramjet engines mounted on the rotor blade tips which weigh 13 pounds each and deliver an equivalent of 45 h.p. For a total of 90 h.p. Versions of the HJ-1 Hornet were built for the United States Army and the United States Navy in the early 1950s. Hiller Aircraft Company was founded in 1942 as Hiller Industries by Stanley Hiller to develop helicopters. Stanley Hiller, then 17, established the first helicopter factory on the west coast of the United States, located in Berkeley, California, in 1942, under the name, Hiller Industries, to develop his design for the coaxial rotor XH-44, Hiller Copter, for the U.S. Army. In collaboration with Henry J. Kaiser, it became United Helicopters in 1945. In the post-war years, United Helicopter produced a number of innovative helicopter designs for military and civilian purposes, including coaxial rotor and tailless designs, as well as more conventional models. In January, 1949, a Hiller 360 became the first civilian helicopter to cross the United States. In the year after World War II, Stanley Hiller researched a two-man rocket jet aircraft design that took off and landed vertically, called the VJ-100, in which he tried unsuccessfully to interest the U.S. military. It was involved in the development of a number of prototype helicopters. From the early 1960s to 1969, its Palo Alto plant served as a CIA cover for the production of the Corona Reconnaissance satellites. Jeff Hiller, the son of Stanley Hiller, repurchased the company in 1994 with the help of a dozen Thai investors led by Patrick C. Lim, part owner of Siam Steel and many other Asian ventures. For ownership of Hiller aircraft, these investors helped cover the company's liabilities about $1 million, and commit about $10 million to build at least 30 new helicopters, at the new East Bay production site and also setting up the first aerospace company in Thailand. Stanley Hiller donated money and a number of aircraft, to form the Hiller Aviation Museum in San Carlos, California, which opened in 1998. In 2009, the Hiller Aircraft Manufacturing Company began construction of a production facility in Zhangjiakou City, northwest of Beijing. The company is a joint venture between Hiller Aircraft Corporation, Zhangjiakou Shahar General Aviation Company. At the time, Zhangjiakou Shahar General Aviation was already carrying out low-rate production of U-12 parts and sub-assemblies. In July 2018, an accident in which a truck driver drove over his co-driver occurred at the Hiller Firebaugh facility. On May 4 a jury found Hiller 70%, at fault for the accident and awarded the injured driver over $9 million in damages. The company's website news update from February 15, 2021, indicates the company is struggling financially with the owners hesitating to provide further funding to keep the company operating. The Hiller Museum identifies the YH-32A, named the Sally Rand, as the first helicopter gunship. The Hiller HJ-1, Hornet was an early attempt to build a jet-powered helicopter using ramjets. Before that there had been experiments with the XH-26, jet jeep tip rotor pulse jets. The HJ-1 ramjet tipped rotor propels the rotor in the aircraft. Unlike a conventional helicopter, this mechanically simple design avoids the need for a tail rotor. The tip speeds on helicopter rotor blades are subsonic, and ramjets are inefficient at subsonic speeds due to low compression ratio of the inlets. The Hornet suffered from high fuel consumption and poor range, the vehicle suffered from low translational speeds, and the ramjet tips were extremely noisy. In the event of power loss, autorotation was found to be difficult due to the drag from the ramjet nacelles. The vehicle exhibited powerful lifting capacity, and there was some hope for military uses, but the high noise, poor range, and high nighttime visibility of the ramjet flames failed to attract sales. The HJ-1 was evaluated by the United States Army as the YH-32, and the United States Navy as the XHOE-1. In 1957 two YH-32, were modified as the YH-32A for trials as armed helicopters. All the fiberglass cockpit fairings, were removed and the tail was modified. The tests were successful in proving the viability of the helicopter as a weapons platform, but due to marginal performance, no further conversions or orders were placed versions were sent to the U.S. Army's DRC, to be evaluated in one of their contests involving the research and development of a lightweight, air-droppable helicopter for air rescue and reconnaissance, and for a portable, easily put together, and fuel-efficient one-man observation and transport copter. It was competing against the Jet Jeep and its pulse jets. Overall the YH-32 won out over the Jet Jeep, 